Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today I wanted to jump on a tip that has something to do with our professional and maybe personal attitudes. Let's look at these two terms, protection professional or hired muscle. How do you want to be perceived? How do you want others to describe you when you're not around? This is an important question because in the current era that we live in, it's a very popular idea and post on social media from people that say they recommend folks to just be themselves or I'm going to just be myself. You can't judge me because blank, blank, blank. These types of ideas, when it comes to your career, are or can be terrible pieces of advice. You need to remember that you are one handshake away from an introduction that may double or triple your outcome. For example, a young man who was the son of a police officer became a Chippendales dancer when he was 18 years old. And that happened as kind of a goofy meeting at the gym where somebody there said, hey, I'm making some extra money tonight. I've got a dancing gig. You want to earn some money too. We need, you know, we have a spot on, on in the group. So he says yes. And all of a sudden that turns into a steady form of income. His plan is to do this at least until he can apply for the police department. So once he turns 21, he applies for a recruit position, completes the academy, and becomes a police officer. And just because of the way his schedule worked, he never stopped dancing. When he wasn't scheduled to be on the street working the beat, he was dancing on his days off. On one of those days, he picks up a unique dancing gig, and one of the event organizers was starting to watch him a little bit and he's like, man, this guy doesn't act like, in his opinion, most immature dancers would act. He's like, this guy carries himself well. He's a professional. He's not running around hitting on women. There was just something interesting about him. So he goes up and he says hello. And he finds out that our dancer friend is a full-time police officer. And he's like, that makes sense. So now you got this really big dude who's fit, carries himself well, he's used to being in this environment, and he can switch and go be a police officer at the same time. So he introduces him to an A-list celebrity friend of his. Our law enforcement slash dancer's life changed in that moment. Now this guy earns huge money as a celebrity protection agent. So you gotta think about things like this. Had he been that standard, rude, arrogant dancer who just ran around hitting on women, when he danced. Well, that organizer wouldn't have been so impressed, wouldn't have picked up on some unique qualities and made the introduction between him and that A-list celebrity. So remember, when you're at work, it doesn't matter if you're a line level security officer, if you're a dancer somewhere, if you're in a position where you think you're just entry level, so who cares? You've got to stop thinking that way. You need to speak better than the people around you. Speak different and more classy than the environment you are in. Respond to situations, don't react. Understand that people are gonna verbally assault you, sometimes physically assault you. It's in the security profession, expected occurrences, that these things happen. Don't take them personally. And when you're behaving as a true professional protector, it doesn't matter what current position you're in, Someone's going to ID you and they're going to give you a shot that can change your life. So until next time, my name is Brian Allen with International Security Training.